Hello, everybody. Hey, this is Ken Faulkner, and I'm uh, I'm here to do a video to to tell you, welcome back to Apex Alchemy. I'm not Billy or Courtney, but welcome to Apex Alchemy. Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Apex Alchemy. A thousand subscriber rendition, if you will. Stay tuned. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Apex. 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 Alchemy. 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 Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. All right. It's the amygdala. Most of you have seen it. Might want to get a little bit better in the light, but uh, I added a finger choil. It's like leather loop on the, on the holster. Got it for uh, sideways carry, or whatever you want to call it, scout carry, um, horizontal carry. All right, so the grinder came in. I have not used it yet because um, I've got like, we got like three 220 outlets and none of them match this. It's like, it's like a, I suppose it's a, what they call it? A turning. Turning lock or something like lock, that? Yeah. Yeah, like, so. I need to change out an outlet. Not a, not a huge deal, you know. It's not it's not gonna be a huge deal, but I did wanna like let you guys know what all come with the grinder. I got the same grinder that you got. He just came out with a video today, and I told Rich from uh, Taurus CNC that I would do like an unboxing video. And I didn't. Man, there was a lot of peanuts. You know, a whole lot of peanuts. You know, like so. Uh, we just went ahead and got it set up first. First of all, man, we bought a table from Harvard Freight. It's a woodworking table. Um, still got the thing over there from Ross tightening up the bolts. So it was hard to keep it still. But anyway, got a woodworking table. It's uh, fairly heavy and it's stable, you know, and it's, it's not there. it seems to be level. So uh, that, that'll, that'll work for this grinder. And we got some belts to start off with. Um, this is a flat platinum that's on there right now. So... Let me put a belt on here. We didn't even put a belt on here yet. I put the strop on here, and I did put some like stuff on there. Like me, me and Jed was talking, and he was like, "If you, he's like, if you don't mind, try this, you know, try this out." We both heard that if you uh, condition the belt first, that it might last longer before you put the compound on. Right. So that pulls an arm. Slide that out. And uh, what you would want to do, if you had power, you want to stand over to the side, turn it on, uh, just in case uh, that might have a little bit too much slack. Too much slack, actually. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you want to you wanna get the proper amount of tension on it. I think it's okay to have a little bit of slack in the leather, actually. But uh, get, get some tension on there and make sure it's tracking right. All that stuff. If you want to go horizontal with it, you just pull this pin. Okay, you push this button, pull the pin, and you lay it out on the side. I do like the way Dave put his uh, grinder together. You know, like, I mean, he, uh, he's got his, where it's not stationary, it's, uh, it's on a thing where he can move it a little easier. Um, but for me, I'm gonna go with the jet approach and I'm gonna have mine bolted down to the table. Um, uh, it's probably not gonna stay right here. It's gonna be closer to these belts over here because this closet door is, uh, is blocked up. And, you know, my outlet is right here. And then the VFD will hang up somewhere around there. And let's talk about that VFD. That's a two horsepower adjustable speed. That's how you adjust the speed. Of course, no powers, so sorry. That'll be the start, stop. Don't have um, reverse or auto. So uh, this would be like stuck in uh, you know manual and forward. Uh, you're like, I think you could wire it up for reverse and, and auto if you want to, or manual. I don't know. I don't know. How, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. But, but anyway, this this VFD is a uh, two horsepower. And it's a 220. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna lift it back up. Lift it back up like so. All right, 
So the belts I started off with, I did talk to Dave uh, before and kind of after I, after I bought them. I ordered more than one of these. This is a Norton Blazer 36 grit. I want to say... That thing is rough. It is. Yeah, it will take your skin off. I want to say, and I may be completely wrong, it's, a, it's definitely a 36 grit, but I think this is, I believe it's zirconium. I don't know, because it, like it don't say in here, I have to look it up, you know, look up the, it's a R980P, it might be a ceramic belt. I didn't get any aluminum belts. These are 36 grit, these are clean spore. I believe these are zirconium too. I think I was with zirconium for the the removal, you know, like the the, the heavy removal, like the stock removal, because uh, I'm gonna be removing a lot of stock and zirconium don't uh, supposed to not clog up as bad as ceramic. Ceramic does do the job better. Um, all right, so these are 220 grit belts. They're 3M. These are ceramic. They're for finishing. Uh, I mean, you know, like. I'm gonna try those other belts, the so Trizex uh, that, that Dave mentioned. I had already ordered these before we had talked about the Trizex, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this is a 120 and it is also ceramic. Um, so, you know, this stuff will remove a lot of material as well. You know, like for grinding bevels and stuff like that, this, this is like perfect. For like eating away blade stock, the zirconium is supposed to be better. Um, we don't know. I, I, I'm i sure I'll try a lot of belts. That's why I only got like a couple of each one. These back here, they're uh, Blue Fire, Norton Blue Fire. I don't know what grit they are. 60, these are 60 grit. So um, I believe those are ceramic as well. I don't know. I have to look them up, man. I have to look them up. Uh, I, think I, think, I think I got ceramic on everything except for the-, the Zirconium. Yeah, the 36 grit. grit. But, uh, okay, what else come with it? <clears throat> so, uh, take the belt off. You got this, uh, like, hydraulic jack, or shock, or shock, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I, I kind of I kind of like that. I think you're supposed to leave belts on it, you know? Uh, just, like, take it off so that way you don't wear your shock out. Uh, a lot of people do prefer springs. This way, this one comes. Uh, I, I, I doubt a spring would be too hard to... To put on there if you, you know, really hated the the I shot, probably. but I don't. I'm uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay with it. We'll just remove that. Take our flat platen. Put it over here. Kind of got I got sidetracked, didn't I? <laughs> That's kind of what I do though. Hey squirrel. Hey squirrel. That's the eight inch wheel. Where you see like Dave, and definitely go watch Satu Dave's video on his uh, tour of CNC. He's got like a 10 inch wheel, a 14 inch wheel, an eight inch wheel. I wanna say he has like four sizes. Maybe. No, he said a 12 inch wheel would come in handy sometimes, but he works around it. So um, anyway, I'll just have the eight inch drive wheel. Uh, this would be for hollow grind or, you know, some of the stock removal, I guess you would say. Uh, you know, like most of the stock removal I'm gonna use with the flat platen. But uh, the eight, eight inch wheel, I might not use very much at all if I, unless I do some hollow grinds. And I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. Let me see if I get to pause it real quick. So, you know, can't really demo it, but you know, I, you would have to adjust this table. You see how uh, like I may have to pull it out a little bit. Keep it from, uh, keep it from rubbing. A lot of it may have to do with the tracking as well. I can see it's a little bit to the right. So, you know, like you got the right of the belt actually uh, rubbing on the thing. Yeah. yeah, it is It is tracking to the right. So we would have to make an adjustment. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Is that? That is, yeah, that, that's my tracking wheel, right? Sure is turning. Okay. Yeah, so that, that kind of like, you know, has a chamfer to it or a camper or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, it'll be like your work table when you want to grind a knife. 
you know, like you want to do something with it or whatever. You know, uh, I don't have any jigs right now either, so I have to order some of those. But if you have some jigs or if you're going freehand, you know, like, you know, the, pretty much what's going on there. Like, really, I don't know how to grind, find somebody else. <laughs> but, like, uh, but as far as this uh, machine goes, I ain't, even, I ain't even got to turn it on yet. If everything works happy, I mean, if everything works fine, if everything works as it should, and I got no reason to believe it wouldn't, I'm extremely happy with the purchase. You know, I come with a lot of stuff. I was going to go with a dictator. It was a kit. It did come with a, I want to say a one and a half horsepower. Don't give me a lie. No, it was a dictator max is what I was looking at. It could have been a two horsepower. Um, I think you could choose your, <coughs> choose your finger. Like, Excuse me. <laughs> you're good. But, um. I think you might have been able to choose your motor just like you can with this one. You know, it's a kit. It comes in, you build it. You know, like you got to put all this stuff together, which you know, like probably probably not that big of a deal. You know, like it had like some sort of instructions or something to like get everything you wanted. Uh, but it didn't come with a lot of attachments. I started pricing attachments, and I was like, you know, start talking to Dave <clears throat> and Jed Hornby, and um, Jed. Uh, I think he suggested a mare braid that I was that I was looking at. And it was like a thousand dollars more. It was like thirty five hundred dollars, but it didn't come with many attachments either. That I can, if I'm remembering remembering correctly. So what I really need, you know, for knife grinding, I'll need a, a small wheel set, and, you know, and uh, another tooling arm to put it on, because I don't want to constantly change out stuff on tooling arms. And we'll have to build something to store these tooling arms properly. But other than that, man, we uh twenty two hundred. At forty five dollars, I want to say, um, you can get it powder coated in like four different colors. You can get like purple, black, green, green and uh, huh? I said green. I think green, yeah, green, purple, black, or you can just leave it raw aluminum. I think it's fifteen dollars to get and red. Coated. I think okay. red was on red there. one. Of them. Yeah. All right, so I just chose black. Right, it's gonna get dirty. You know, figure uh, black would be the the one that would match uh, everything anyway after everything is sturdy. But uh, what else is there to cover, Courtney? Uh, you got your drill press. Oh, I ain't worried about that right now. Okay. Um, yeah, got a drill press. Got another workbench over there. But as far as the dr the the grinder, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to to get it all together. But I, I could have not wasted time today and went ahead and. Went to Lowe's. Like Lowe's, like forty-four miles down the road. I kind of want to like get a list of stuff to to get and and grab it up while I'm already there instead of running back and forth three or four times as I forgot something. I can't, I cannot stand that. You know, like I'll, I'll hire a professional before I like make several trips back back and forth to a hardware store. But uh, I get everything I need and may still have, end up having to hire a professional for this outlet. I don't know. We got it's it's funny. We got like three two twenty outlets. Ain't none of them the same. And then we got this this uh, mail over here that don't match any of them. So it's 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 interesting. You know, like there's a lot of two twenty outlets out there. They don't play along with each other. So luckily we got a couple of electrician friends. They said well, it shouldn't be no problem. That's a Ford Ranger, by the way. Um, little bitty Ford Ranger with a, a three fifty in it. That our dog hates. <laughs> our dog hates that truck. But anyway. Um, Ventilation, we got a window right here. It kind of blows up to the garage. There's a window behind us. And there's a door that goes outside. But um, anyway, you know, what I'll probably do is I'll probably hook up a box fan and and blow it out the back. Uh, you know, just, or, you know, try to keep some circulation going and keep these, you know, keep the door and the, the window open. So it'll just like, hopefully suck some shit out. Might go route day went. Yeah, uh, got an attic fan or whatever. But y'all, I guess that's it. And so like this will be the last time that I'm seeing a amygdala until after Blade Show is over with. If you see this knife in uh, in the contest, root for me. And uh, I ain't used it. My brother carried it for a few days, I think. But anyway, y'all have a good one. I hope you've all been well, and we'll catch you on the flip side.